So we managed to get in with a group called Black Voters Matter. So if you see yeah, people that don't have masks, give them a mask. Okay. It was pretty inspiring meeting all these invariably young, mostly African American volunteers. Talk to them, right? Okay. Tell them about the importance of voting. I want to just tell y'all why your work is so important. Who were really fired up. Black voters are tapering off, so we need to really make a final push, a hard push, right? We can't afford for our community to sit out this election. It was like listening to an army general or an army major preparing the troops for battle. All right, let's go get this work. Let's do it. She's the politician in the family. <laughs> Tell me a couple of examples of the way votes could be suppressed. Voter ID laws, making it hard for people to vote. After the 2010 election, thousands of black voters were removed from this district. That should never happen. And they kept on stressing, we don't say which party to vote for, but we just want people to vote. There was also a really deep, keen sense of injustice because of two years earlier, an investigation discovered that there were tens of thousands of mainly African-Americans who'd been disenfranchised. So you're not trying to target the Republican voters? They, because when we do, you see the guy, the guy with the shirt off, he just told us to get the F out of his neighborhood. Wow. He got Trump, everything. And what did you say to him in return? Bye, <laughs> see you. Okay, do you feel intimidated when something like that happens? I don't. You feel worried? I don't. Angry? I don't. What do you feel? Strength. It gives me strength. Being in the Deep South, there's a real history of racism and division and segregation stemming from slavery. I found the whole racism thing absolutely staggering. This whole election, certainly in that moment, in that state, in that town,